Also diving into Multnomah County's plans to keep people cool and safe. We don't want a repeat of what happened a few years ago during our massive heat wave. Joelle Jones live. I know you asked a lot of questions with officials. Joelle, what did they tell you? I did, Jeff, and not a lot of answers today as the county says they often wait until the night before to decide to open those cooling centers due to the changing forecast. But as emergency management officials say that extended days of heat as well as early waves in June, like we're expecting, can increase vulnerability, I asked what their plans are to keep people safe. The Portland metro region now bracing for a hot 4th of July weekend. Perfect for celebrating, but not for those living outside or without AC. If people do need cooling centers, uh, you know, obviously uh, Thursday provides a unique situation for us because it is a holiday. It is the 4th of July. So some of the normal uh, locations that people might go to would be closed. Given the limited cooling options and forecasted temperatures above 90 degrees, I asked if Multnomah County plans to open cooling centers. Unless we see things probably worsen a little bit, uh, I don't think so. County Director of Emergency Management Chris Voss says with current heat risks below threshold norms and cool night temperatures, they are in talks and prepared to open centers if needed, but aren't anticipating it. Still, he says the county is working with partners to ramp up other outreach efforts, like distributing cooling kits to the homeless and installing AC units for vulnerable neighbors. It feels like... Um like the weather gets uh, really aggressive. As I mature in age, I'm not able to handle the heat as well as I did when I was younger. A week after we spoke with Northeast Portland residents benefiting from the city's Cooling Portland program, which connects low income neighbors with free AC, we followed up on those efforts. Though they have repeatedly declined to share just how many people are waiting for AC, program data shows two years in, the city has reached 60% of its goal to gift 15,000 units by 2027, installing more than 9,100 units so far, more than 1,900 this year and more than 320 just within the last week. All of these programs, the, the city, the state and the county all working together have have really um, improved the access to air conditioning for vulnerable populations. Now, Washington County reps declined to respond to any of my requests today, but Clackamas County says they, too, don't anticipate that they will reach thresholds enough to open those cooling centers. But they say that Father's Heart, their partner, will open a day center on Thursday for those looking to keep cool on the 4th of July when those libraries will be closed. Reporting live in downtown Portland, I'm Joel Jones, Queen 6 News. Okay.